HJK6 says, Hi Luke, is the phrase as is only used on singular objects and to refer to conditions in the present? Can I say as are, as was, as were, as will be? Okay, so kind of yes. The phrase as is by itself is the only one we can use and we would use it for usually a single thing uh, that is happening in the present, as HJK6 has, has said. So what would be an example of that? So there's a situation going on, and we describe the situation, situation as an it, okay? So I've decided, let's, let's say the situation is like this. Um, there is a disagreement between two colleagues, and I could get involved and try to help them, but I've decided to leave it as is. That means I'm not going to mess with it. This situation, so the situation is an it. So there you could say, well, th that's not really an it though, because you're, there are two people, right? But you can use a lot of, you can sometimes group things into a bigger piece and call it an it then, a whole situation, a team, a company, made up of individuals, yes, but leave it as is, this whole thing. We can also, of course, use it for, for objects, right? So you're building a house and something isn't quite like you like it, right? Maybe the siding is not, not your favorite, and I'm speaking from uh, experience here. <laughs> so, you know what? Rather than spend a huge amount of money so that I can have my favorite thing, I've just decided to leave it as is. That might be the physical thing, or that could refer to that decision, whoever made the decision to put my put the siding there that's not my favorite that decision i'm going to leave that as is we could also say that's the situation so it's pretty pretty flexible there right it the situation it the decision or it the physical object the siding <clears throat> you made an artwork a painting and you want to fix it no, no don't fix it leave it as is it's beautiful as is don't touch it don't mess it up okay now do we describe plural things in that way. Well, in the way that I talked about, yes, because situations and groups and teams, although they are single things, contain more, right? But we usually refer to them in their collective form, like a team is a collective, singular collective made of parts. If you wanted to use are or were or was, you can but no longer just as and that, as are, for example, as was, as were. We don't use those. Now, sometimes you hear as was the final act, as was the final act. Okay, that's a, that's a different kind of different usage, and let's not get into that. But in this general meaning of keep it, keep it in the way that it is, if we want to start using are or was or were, then we would probably uh, we would probably add something. So we would say, leave things as they are. So we put they in between instead of leave, leave things as are. If it's an is, then we say as is. We could say as it is, right? That's correct. Leave it as it is. Leave the painting as it is. Don't mess it up. Or we say, leave it as is. Leave everything as is. The house was a mess, and we left it as is. Um, as is, meaning it's still like that, even though it was a mess. So if you want to change it, usually we'll then put the, um, put the they, for example, with, the, with, with uh, were inside between the two as they were. We left everything as it was. We left all of the things as they were. The team was left as they were, as they were. What about was? Yeah, that would be fine too. 
uh, we decided to just keep it as it was. So if you use the past tense there, we would then put it there. We wouldn't say as was. Same with, uh, same with will be, as it will be, I guess you could use that too. But you would put in whatever you want to use, you would put in the it, the they, in between. Whereas you don't have to do that when it is, is. We can remove the it and just say as is, and that's fine. It's a tough question, HJK6. I hope that gives you a better sense for it. It's a very useful uh, way of describing situations and states and conditions and what you think about them. If you guys haven't already done so, don't forget to hit the like button, of course, subscribe, and check out my full courses in the links in the description.